Well, here we go. Again, we're back with another one. Will this save the summer? If you're a van camper, uh, or a caravan, or a family tent camper on a campsite, maybe this is better. Hanged one. Mosquito repeller. Alright, so it sits on the base. It can sit up like that. Obviously, I'm not on a hard surface. You can have it up like that. And down. I'll just lie it down. Magnetic base, like last time. This is a, um, a flashlight and an ambient light, which we'll go into later on. I need to get dark for this. So to operate it, you get the repellent pads. These come supplied. Obviously coated in a repellent chemical sort of thing. I'm not sure how many you get. Maybe 10 in a pack or something. But you can order the, the pads separate. So they're just sitting there. Obviously these are used. I've been trying it out. There's one on either side. There you go. So to turn it on. You've got these two switches here. They double click. Goes green. Double click. Green. Okay. So that is your camp mode. Right. That gives you the um ah uh, the the cover. I haven't looked into how how much uh cover it gives you about a ten feet radius or something like that, ten feet around you. But it heats the pads up. I just like to state that this does not get hot. You can touch it. But if you want it on outdoor mode, I think the camping mode gives you thirty feet of cover. Uh, camping mode and then outdoor mode gives you the 30 feet of cover so outdoor mode you click it again right when it's on green you just click it again and it goes red so that's on now outdoor mode okay so it heats up to 165 degrees centigrade in this outdoor mode but again it's high temperature resistant material this so it doesn't it doesn't actually reach that temperature externally and on the camera mode there that reaches um 110 centigrade again doesn't doesn't heat up this this doesn't heat up so you can hold it it's not dangerous not going to catch fire or anything <laughs> so i've got been using it in the van i've been so i've been magnetizing it to the van door with that and again it's been really windy so i haven't had a very good test of it but there was some um midges and that flying about and they wouldn't come near it they would not come in that van i was just sitting in the van nice and comfortable happy as can be with this at the door and they weren't coming in i wasn't getting bothered so yeah also as well as the magnetic bottom you've got the tripod Attachment so you can have it up in the air You can put it anywhere really Very versatile So there you go hanged one Easy on easy off right so I'll, I'll just turn it off for now because it's heating up I can feel it heating up so this Flashlight I'll uh, come back when it's dark as well so we can see the colors you double click it on and it's so bright it's got four modes look at that i can't look at that and you double click it on two three four All right and this is for the ambient lights so it makes it a nice soft soft glowing light like i say all right let's start and then there's a nice white light and then again, softer lights, mood lights, really. That's a nice one. That'll be nice and cozy, that one. With that one on. Yeah, so when it gets dark, we'll come back when I look at the torch. But for now, oh, yeah, it's a C type charger, as usual. Very handy. 
just plug it in then these lights here these four lights I'll turn that on when it's charging they'll pulse obviously when it reaches four when the, when the go block steady like that that's fully charged so here we go it's a Kickstarter campaign so it's actually not available just yet but I have a feeling it will be it feels rugged it feels very military military grade it's all metal and this is hardened plastic and like I say this is temperature resistant it says hot surface but that's just a, uh, that's just a warning it can get warm but not 165 degrees you're not going to burn yourself on it put it that way okay it'll come out when it's dark with the light with the torch the torch is ridiculously bright so I reckon it's dark enough now to uh, try this out. Things are dark, right? So I have to. Oh, I've got it on my own. <laughs> so the light settings. There we go. That's on full bright now, right? So this top button changes the ambiance. So you've got a nice orange glow. Even orange glow. I had that on the van. That's nice. Uh, it's nice and relaxing. That. That's like a blue, bluish white kind of glow. Good for um, doing detailed work. It's it shows up every detail really. That's a bit softer. And there's a nice. Um, that's like a daylight. And then we're back to the orange oranges. You can use them on different um, brightness as well. You don't have to have it full bright. It's nice. It's it's a um, it's a nice little feature. I had a nice relaxing weekend in the van last week. I thought. So there we go. It's called the Hanged One Evil Repel, and I tell you, so far. My tests are um, proven to be quite good. I haven't been bothered by midges. There was midges outside the van the other week when I was parked up. And they wouldn't come in past it. They wouldn't come in past that, that radiation pad. <laughs> it's not radioactive. Disclaimer. But they would not come in. You, know, you could hang it, from, hang it from the ceiling or... Anywhere really. And you use it as a light. Yep, so so far so good. I'll keep testing it. There'll be other videos where I'm out in the tent. I'm going out um at the weekend, so we'll see if I if it's not windy, I'll be taking it anyway. And if it isn't windy and there's midges, I'll give it a shot. And see what we get, see what we think. Okay, but that's it for now. Kickstarter campaign. I'll put the details in the description. Usual thing. Have a look, see what you think. Definitely, definitely a nice, sturdy bit of kit.